Hey everyone, I'm your host Anisha Roshan Rodriguez. Welcome to Inspiring Guy, where we inspire you to inspire others. Today, I'm going to introduce you to an amazing personality who is a career coach, an author, and a podcaster. He's none other than Jason Sequeira. He has authored a book, What Matters, and hosted a podcast series, Become a Superhero. He has already transformed more than 300 plus students and aims to impact over a million students in the similar manner. He had the privilege to interview Dr. B. N. Suresh, the Chancellor of Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology and former director of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. He was also selected as one of the Super Thousand Speakers in the Super Speaker Season 2, hosted by Success Young. Let's dive into the interview to know more about him. Can you tell a little backstory about yourself as to what difficulties you had to face in your childhood and teenage years that inspired you to take up this field? So if I have to talk about some of the difficulties that I faced in childhood, I want to say what are some of the things that I had actually. So as a child, I was super active, super energetic. My dad used to push me into sports. My mom used to support me with my studies. Very supportive parents. Uh, and I remember I used to love going to school, get up in the morning. Our, our school used to start I think somewhere around 7.30. So we had to get up early at 6, leave to school. And I used to get one one hour or half an hour about before school to play in the school ground. I used to play. So this is how I was. I was very energetic, very happy. I used to love doing things, right? Until one thing that happened when I was in school in my fifth grade. So I was playing as usual on the school ground. And while I was playing, right, I remember some of these school friends of mine, they came to the ground and they surrounded me. Right? And when they surrounded me, what I felt was like, okay, these guys are my friends, right? What what happened? Why, why are they surrounding me? And they started to bully me. They started to touch me at different parts of my body, right? They, they actually started abusing me. And when that incident actually happened, it was just fifth grade, right? But I felt so disgusted about myself, like, okay, why? Why, why am I being treated this way and why am I this way? Right? I started asking myself a lot of questions that okay, why my life is like this? Why, why things are like this in my life? And I felt that it was so important that I needed to do something about it in my life. I wanted to tell somebody, but I couldn't tell my parents. I couldn't tell my mom. I couldn't tell my dad. Uh, I didn't know whom to trust anymore because some of my own school classmates had done this. and. At that moment, I felt I don't know whom to trust. So this went on for one year, two year. I was so afraid to tell my parents because I didn't know what they would think. Um, my relatives and at, from this point in my life, I started bottling up this anxiety. I started bottling up this guilt inside of me. And it actually turned out to me hating, wanting to be with people, right? Um, I wouldn't have friends. I mean, I would have people who I would talk to. But I wouldn't be able to keep relationships. I wouldn't be able to trust people, right? Uh, I started becoming much more angry. I started becoming much more desperate. I started becoming much more anxious, right? I, for a very small thing, I was getting angry at my dad or my mom. I became very short-tempered. And as this went on, this went on till my college life, right? I didn't, I didn't get a solution to it. I just started normalizing this that this is how my life is going to be. I'm not going to amount to anything. I'm not going to be something in my life. I'm just going to go with this flow saying that, okay, I have been bullied. I'm, I'm a guy who's supposed to be silent, who's not supposed to mingle out with friends, who's not supposed to be cool, with zero confidence, no self-esteem, um, having multiple suicidal thoughts. I was like, I just want to end my life. I was going through this very rough phase, right? And at that time, I struggled to even trust myself that I am going to do something in my life. It was really difficult. So whenever my parents would tell me something, I would literally 
fight back and say and rebel with them saying oh, I don't want to do this I don't want to do that I, I don't want to do this way I don't I was that kind of person and I came to my college life uh, I was a guy who never ever touched alcohol who never ever drank in his life but when I came into engineering as I went to college the first one semester right I I tried to keep my will power I tried to be like okay I'm not going to do this right my my parents don't want me to do this but when I came into my second semester I wasn't able to keep that will right that um there were a lot of distractions around in the environment in a college life you know right that people set standards that if you want to be cool if you want to have really good friends okay, you you need to be drinking you need to be smoking you need to be alcoholic right you need to go partying on the weekends you need to watch movies right and i wanted to start getting myself fit into this new category new society that i came from so i studied in saudi my schooling and now i shifted to india i actually thought when i shift to india everything will get changed in my life whatever happened in my mind that will not happen again but nothing went out of my mind that incident that situation just stayed the same way right and when i came to college i was like desperately wanting to make friends right i didn't want to be alone because now my parents were not there i'm alone in the hostel i have a couple of friends who i knew but i was feeling very lonely and i didn't know how to make new friends i didn't know how to keep relationships with friends it it, it was a very tough time for me and then i came into my second year and when i came into my second year of engineering um, i actually found myself invited to a place where i could go ahead and build my skills right so initially i was like okay what is this all about i do not know what is it going to be but let me see let me try because everybody was saying to get a good job you need to have a lot of skills you need to build them when you are in college so i was like okay let me go ahead and give a try and i remember i went in 2017 i went for a session where um, i saw somebody speaking about how can you build yourself why is it important to build your skills right how can you get high paying packages and that's when i said okay let me get started with working and let me see how things are right i took that decision to build my skills uh, i got a mentor i got a coach um, he started helping me out with building my personal skills personal skills like communication uh, he helped me in working with my academics to improve my scores really well um, and slowly as all of this went on right technical skills creative skills i was able to develop more than 18 plus different skills when i was in my college so second year and third year of my engineering i built more than 18 different skills and that's when i thought wow this is never something i thought that i could do by myself right i started feeling proud of the fact that i could do things like this and that's when i decided okay uh, i really really want to do something in my life and i want to become something in my life tell us something about how you got training and mentorship from different people and how they've helped you level up once i got into my mentorship and coaching from my mentor um, he actually started taking me to a lot of different events a lot of different places across mumbai bangalore we were traveling right? we were learning from a lot of people who were successful and he gave me this one very very important tip at early on in my life and i want to share this with all of you who are watching if you really really want to become successful at something learn it from the one who has already been successful in that field why he can help you cut short the mistakes that you're going to make by trying it by yourself and that very one secret made me go out and learn more learn from the world's best so i started taking training in understanding about finances in understanding about wealth in understanding how to keep relationships in understanding about spirituality i started taking uh, men- mentorship in that i started taking mentorship in how to build my career right so all of these various different aspects i started taking mentorship and coaching and working on it so that i could build not just one area of my life i wanted to build a complete a whole life right and so i started going for events across started taking mentorship and the most important secret back again is to invest in your learning i started investing in my learning doing courses doing programs from those who have succeeded right so you found somebody who is succeeding go ahead and invest because they will put all their time and efforts to help you cut short that journey that's what made me go and learn from lot more people how did you become a career coach 
um, so as as I said, right, when I came into my engineering college, I remember me building these multiple skills and doing lot of awesome things, right? And I still remember there was a time when I was in college where I wanted to apply for some of the best companies. When I came to final year, I was a guy. Okay, no, not to brag. I'm not sharing this to brag. I'm sharing this because you too can do it. From where I came to what I did, I want to share that with you honestly and transparently. Um, so when I came to my final year, I was a guy who developed more than 18 plus skills. I became the chairman, right, which is the president of a community in our college, which was Computer Society of India. It was like a club. I became the president two years in the college where I was managing three different branches. We won a lot of awards for our college as well. Not just that, I got opportunity to interview, right, the vice chancellor of uh, ISRO when he came to our college. I started working with a lot of interviews. Uh, meeting a lot of people going for a lot of events right conducting a lot of events within the college right became an mc in the college and doing so much more right i authored my own book when i was in college i wrote a book called as what matters right this i wrote this book because i wanted to help a lot of people build their confidence i was a guy when i came to college i was zero in confidence zero right to becoming this guy who could take up opportunities in college who could stand in front of public and speak who could coach and help a lot of people oh my god i never thought i could do that right and that's when i decided can okay, i need to have this book and help a lot of people once they read it they get the secrets they understand how they can do it right so if any of you want the book i'll also be asking the team to share the link below you go ahead read the book and tell me when how you loved it right so that's when i decided okay so many good things are happening in my life and with this mindset i was like super awesome i am ready to get a good job high paying job uh, i applied for one of the companies it was an 18 lakh package uh, sorry i'll not be able to name the company uh, it was an 18 lakh package company i applied and i saw this, they, they gave a shortlist for all the people who applied they shortlisted about i think there were 600 people who applied and they shortlisted about 250 Okay, and when this short list of 250 came, I saw that my name was not there. Okay, and it wasn't for a reason that I had some challenges or I really didn't know what was the problem. So then I started seeing, okay, why my name is not there, and suddenly I realized that okay, they asked 10th grade about 80, uh, they wanted 75 percent. I had 85 percent, so it was a check mark. Uh, they in 12th again they asked 75 percent. I had about 74.8. and in college they wanted i think something about 7.2 or 7.5 i had 8.3 and plus so i just realized that just because of 0.2 person in my 12th standard which had nothing to do with how i was in 4 years did not allow me to get through in that in that time and that one time one moment in my life made me to ponder and ask myself what my true purpose and calling is is it for me to get that 18 lakh job go ahead and work in that company because all my friends then told me hey it's just 0.2 percent just go ahead and speak to the department they will surely get you in for the interview and i knew that they could get me in if i asked but something at that time in my mind said you are meant for something more whatever you have achieved in your life you coming till this point can you help lot more people do that This was a question that came in my mind when I was staring at that notice board, and I said yes to that calling. I said, "This is what I'm going to do in my life. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to help as many people as possible get to where I am. Right? Help them step by step. Help them build themselves, build their confidence, take a lot of opportunities when they go. Help them grow from zero to becoming heroes. I want to do that in my life because that's where I felt the true happiness and satisfaction of doing what I love." So that's why I chose to become a career coach. In the current scenario, what are the negative aspects that affect youngsters? So I think one of the things that I have commonly noticed, and it's not just a struggle for everybody; it's it's also been a struggle for me. It has also been a struggle for a lot of people I know for sure. Is that post COVID, right? When the moment COVID completed or it got over as a period, most of us are right now struggling with instant gratification. what do you mean by instant gratification like think about this just about 10 years back okay, if you wanted to watch a serial you would watch one episode let's say on saturday and you would wait the next saturday to watch that episode the second the second episode 
right or if you watch a serial if you watch it today you will wait tomorrow at the same time to watch it and then the third day and the fourth day but what is happening today today you see people in an entire day complete an entire seasons after seasons of an of a of a series on netflix or amazon prime or whatever other ott platforms out there so if you see the patience level that we had earlier to wait to be excited what's going to happen tomorrow that anxiousness is no more being created today in youngsters it, it's just like done 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 and now when it comes to career when it comes to building the skills if the same doesn't happen for them they feel frustrated they feel anxious right and and that's why we are here to help you that's why i'm here to help people students specifically to go step by step we are here to hand hold you right and this is one of the biggest challenges that is affecting youngsters is instant gratification wanting everything to happen right now right now right now right and, and i understand that because i have been through it myself i know how that feels but there is there is a beautiful beautiful journey uh, that you do not want to miss because on this journey to success right it, that journey is what makes it worthwhile right and and when you go through that journey is when you are built is when you start understanding how to face your fears what are your weaknesses right so that journey is so much more important than getting instant results instant gratification and, and that is something which i believe if if our youngsters work on they're going to be super amazing successful people and i truly believe that tell us about your different skills and how did you develop it there are three categories of skills i worked on and which i felt was very very necessary which is my personal skills uh, technical skills and creative skills so in my personal skills i worked on communication productivity um, i worked on uh, memory magic how do i remember things really well uh, i worked on confidence i worked on dream career hack right so various different skills there leadership right sales and marketing as well networking how do i network and build relationships with people relationships with stakeholders right and then in technical i went into app development virtual reality artificial intelligence 3d designing and modeling microcontrollers various different skills uh, creative i worked on video editing uh, graphic designing ui ux designing uh, multiple things digital marketing content writing various different skills i've worked on and i believe it's so important that we build not just one skill but we build a multiple set of skills reason being is when you go out tomorrow right you want to be the most approachable person by a company right they they need to feel like wow this guy is an asset to our company he doesn't just have technical skills but he also has the business skills right he has the skills to increase our revenues he has the skills to make us do more things in a very shorter amount of time right and and that's when they truly value you because they see how much value can you bring to the table and that is something really awesome so these are some of the skills that i built and i have been coaching students in the last 3 years to build these set of skills and help them out build their confidence level go out on stages and uh, take opportunities share their journeys impact people so this is what i have chosen as my life to be what's your best achievemental date i think in the year 2022 i took part in a reality show called as super speaker right season 2 uh, where over 2 lakh 11520 people gave the audition and from this 2 lakh 11520 i was shortlisted into top 1000 across india and in one of the rounds right i got an opportunity to collaborate with success gyan and do a guinness world record this was a childhood dream i remember when i was young i used to go to school libraries and this guinness world record books okay if you have seen it it's so shiny on the front covers right like it has a very shiny red color or a shiny blue color or a shiny green color right so i used to get so fascinated by just seeing the cover i used to open and see people achieving various records and i had a dream that one day ki okay, one day i also wanted to do something to have a guinness world record and this time i did it collaboratively in uh, in super speaker reality show and i think that is one of one of my best achievements till date uh, the second would be being able to create an impact in students life like i remember i have students who have come to me with relationship challenges right just having a breakup to are into depression suicidal tendencies have 
have committed suicides. I have people uh, who have coached who came with no parents, they lost their parents at the age of four. I have people who have come with very poor financial background, people with health challenges, and I've been able to help them. Been able to help them get results, get get themselves recognized at various different stages to help them becoming confident about what they can do in their life. And that is, I think, the best achievement you can have is being an instrument of transformation in somebody else's life. So I think that's that's a best achievement, and I don't still consider it as an achievement because I want to do more, more of this. What are some positive statements that you tell yourself every day? Um, honestly, I believe one thing is yes, statements do help. But personally, for me, it has not been statements. Personally, for me, it has been the results that I achieve. Right? When when I see the results that I've achieved, and I reflect where I was to where I am right now, that actually brings a lot of positivity in me to grow to my next level, to do something more. Right? The second thing that helps me positively is being around a community. When I'm around a community. uh that is doing more that is growing more uh i feel the need to grow right and i see okay i start reflecting on what more i can do so that is the second thing that i have been that has been really working for me in order to stay positive what message would you like to give to the youth this is a very important time to understand because i have seen youths at this time right um going into depression feeling suicidal thoughts um sitting in classrooms having no idea about their future right um going to colleges where they are forced to choose a degree that they do not want to do forced to do a career that they do not want to do right um are not getting jobs are unemployed are underemployed getting less salaries and this is a struggle right i i have seen people struggle i have seen students parents coming and crying to me about these challenges and i know how that feels right and and this is exactly where i want to give this one message to the youth is that if you are here right like if you are on this planet earth i know for sure there's a purpose okay and this line might sound pretty cliche to you right now saying yes i know i have a purpose but can you tell me what that purpose is just a second i, I will be coming to that so you think about this like what what if Virat Kohli when he started batting okay knew that he was going to be the indian captain if he knew it he would have played much more better right or he would have he would have maybe become lazy don't know but in spite of not knowing he still took every risk he still made everything happen and then he became the indian captain right not just that if you see today somebody around you who's most successful in their field they didn't know that they will be where they are today right but they they decided to take help they decided to solve out the problems that they are facing right and if you're watching this video right now and and somewhere you feel that you are struggling you want somebody to open up to i'm going i'm going to be asking the team to drop a link here okay below this video maybe in the comment section or the description where i give you this opportunity to come out and speak where i'm going to have a one on one call with you maybe we could do that in zoom if you prefer in a phone call we could have a phone call for about 30 minutes right where i give you this call to see and help you and understand where you are what are the struggles what is it that is stopping you what are the challenges and i would be super happy to help you break these challenges i'd be super happy to see you grow to see you do more to make your parents proud right and and that is something which i believe each and every one of you can do it i told you my journey in the starting when i was bullied when i was abused on the school ground i hated myself i hated people right but one change one decision to build my skills one decision to grow myself right it it changed everything in my life and by the grace of god i am able to do what i am doing today and helping out lot more people it's it's a privilege right to be chosen as an instrument to help lot more people and you do not know what your calling will be but you got to dive in first to understand to explore what is my calling right? and and that's where i can help you out and i know for sure you are going to do really amazingly well in your lives right so if you need that support don't hesitate 
I'm there. I'm there to be there to support you, to be there with you and to help you out. All right. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. That was truly inspiring. If you like this video, then go ahead and smash the like button. Click subscribe and do comment on how you like this episode. And don't forget to follow Jason Sequeira on all the socials given in the link in the description below. To book your free one-on-one -on -one call with Jason Sequeira, click on the link in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out his new book, What Matters, and his podcast series, Become a Superhero. The links for the same are given in the description below. Until then, keep inspiring. Bye-bye.